Hi, welcome to pcdailytips.com. In today's video, we are going to convert .bin and .q file twice so far using pchunk. So first step is download pchunk from this URL. And once you download it, you're going to extract that pchunk.zip file. Once you, uh, once you have it extracted, then you're going to open your terminal. And here you're going to type in on sudo and ch mode and a plus x and drag this pchunk to your terminal and then hit enter. So next is we're going to convert that, that dot bin and dot q file. So we're going to drag that pchunk and then drag that bin and drag that q and then drag that bin again but we rename that bin as ISO and hit enter. So when it's done, you're going to exit the terminal and now you see that I have now uh, pf.iso01.iso. I will just rename it as ISO and then open it and then you will be able to mount it. But there are many cases uh, will happen if you uh, convert with pchunk. So, for example, now I have windows.pin and windows.q. Uh, this is the easiest thing. Something, sometimes it works, but sometimes it doesn't. But most times it works. So, I'm just going to rename this .pin to ISO uh, file. But first, to be in a safe uh, condition, you're going to duplicate this. Duplicate this. So once you have your dot bin file uh, duplicated, you can then rename the original or rename the copied uh, to ISO. So I'm going to rename it as ISO and use ISO and you will see that you will be able to mount it. But there are many cases that you cannot um, open it after you rename it to ISO. That's why you have to try uh, some method like pchunk. So I'm just going to unmount it. And there are also another cases that it will be renamed on something else. So I'm just now uh, delete these demo things and now uh, going to open my terminal again and use the same method like uh, copying this pchunk and then windows.bin and windows.q file and then dot bin again to create the ISO. ISO. And it will be very fast and displaying that dot ISO dot uh, UTH uh, file. You see if I exit of my terminal. Now that I have this kind of strange um, file, but if I rename it now as NISO, and use it and open it and it will be uh, not it won't be recognized so in that case if you just rename that dot uth it will it won't happen then you're going just to rename uh, the duplicated original file and it might work so try things that it might work for you thank you for watching goodbye